This video is going to demonstrate how to take an old laptop and connect it to a new laptop for audio and MIDI. So you can use an old laptop as kind of a keyboard station computer where it's not doing all the you know the code crunching for the audio. It's only going to use Jack Trip to relay audio from the i7 quad core laptop I have as you see right here and we're using MIDI back and forth using ASE QNET on both on the i7 quad core which is what you see right now this is the server and let me show you what the laptop looks like here and this is what the old laptop looks like it's a it's an ancient thing it can barely uh, do anything anymore so it has been sitting around for several years and I thought hey let's let's see if we can make this into a keyboard station so I don't have to keep taking my other laptop i7 quad core which I use for a lot of different things and just kinda tug it back and forth from all its connections in one room and m make it go into the music room here so I tried to use this old laptop for the for a similar thing but relaying all the CPU tasks to the i7 quad core. Again, using Jack Trip to relay the audio from the i7 to this old single core, and it's only at 1200, I think it goes up to 1700 as far as the frequency. Right now, the CPU you can see on this old laptop is around 50%. It's still doing pretty good. And let's see, the net client is what you get. when you do ASE QNET to the server and this is a MIDI that's already in your distro you don't have to download this just go to the command line and type this in like you see and figure out what your IP address is of your stronger computer and this since this is the older computer you just do ASE QNET and then the IP address of the strong computer which is a on my system here an i7 quad core and that brings into jack audio net client and so I'm using my MIDI keyboard in the room where the old laptop is to send MIDI to my quad core and then the quad core generates all the audio and all the synthesizers and sends it through jack chip direct jack trip back to this old laptop and then to the sound card and over to a stereo and some big speakers that I'm using here. And here's the the Jack Trip. I'm doing the same thing here. On the i7 quad core I set up Jack Trip dash S and on this old laptop here I do dash C and then the IP address of the i7 quad core. Yeah, I think uh, plenty of room for some other CPU and again this is I think this laptop was like 2001 or 2002 so it's very ancient and one of the key components of all of this working like it is is anti X just came out with a new version and this is by far of all the lightweight distros I've tried it works the best for audio and MIDI and CPU use and and making things easy and repurposing an old laptop that was useless and now I uh, find it quite useful and I'll show you a couple things you can do with this in just a second here so we have the old laptop now this is the new one that you see here it's my screen recorder we've got two VMPKs and this is the jack audio on the i7 quad here's the net client and that's jack trip and I just disregard those little warnings it's just waiting around for the other laptop to connect to it and again there's the ASE QNET and I've got a jack keyboard here on the i7 quad and I want to send some audio and you should be able to hear it here so that's just a test on the i7 side to see if it's going to work or not and so I'm going to walk into the other room. I'm going to pause it, take the microphone out, and just let you hear what it sounds like coming from the other room.
Okay, so I just played a little bit there, but it works very well. I'm uh, really impressed by the latency. I didn't notice any hard uh, core latency that w was interrupting how I was playing. And uh, on an old laptop, you know, there's a little bit of pops and clicks. But all the hard audio works going on here on the i7 quad core. So if I were to bring up Ardour, or some other recording. I, I'll be recording all of this on the i7 so I won't get those pops or clicks in the old laptop room where I'm actually just listening and playing. Which is kind of nice too and, and it's hardly noticeable at all. But I was very very impressed that I could take an old laptop let me see if I can get this there we go. And that's because I have X to go going back and forth so I can do this video. Anyway, I was very impressed that the CPU was very manageable and I could uh, once again have a useful computer system and then using an i7 quad core and all of its uh, ability for audio and vi you know video and crunching data and all that. So it made, made a very effective uh, pairing. Thanks for watching.